Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick, and in today's quick tutorial, I'm gonna be explaining how to create a quote in HubSpot. So once you log into HubSpot CRM, of course you'll come to the home screen. Now in order to create a quote, what we need to do is go to the sales tab up the top left hand corner here, use the drop down menu, and then go to quotes. And now from here, as you can see, you'd usually get a list of all the quotes inside of the HubSpot CRM system. I haven't got any, so in order to create a new one, we just wanna press create quote up the top right hand corner here. And then we need to go through a number of stages. Firstly, we need to select the deal that this quote is associated with. So using the drop down menu to find the deal, you can either search for it, you can create a new deal if you'd like to, or you can search and find the deal that this quote is for. So mine is test deal. Once you've done so, just press the next button. And here you can then add some details. So you can select the quote template, standard, modern, original, basic. You can give the quote a name, the expiration date, as you so wish, you've got 30, 60, 90, or you can add a custom date range. Comments to the buyer, and then purchase terms as well. So this is things you obviously can just write up that's applicable to this particular quote. I can't really tell you much on that, but once you've done that, just press the next button. And this is where the buy information will be selected. So as part of my deal, this is who the deal was associated with and that is the company the deal is associated with. So that is automatically generated. If you wanna add a, another contact, you can just press add another and then you can search for that particular contact that's being associated with the quote and just search here using the drop down menu. I'm not going to. So we'll continue as is, and then from there, we need to press the next button. And this is where we fill out your information as the person that is generating the quote. So obviously it is Nick Boardman for me, and then I'm just gonna associate my own company with this. Um, this is where you can fill out the relevant information if you so wish, company name, street, blah, blah, blah. Um, that is obviously, again, very obvious, but I'm not gonna do that as that might take a bit too much time. Once you've done that though, just press the next button. And this is where you need to put line items to deal and build quotes. So this, uh, as you can see, this is where you need to be putting the information in. Unfortunately, because this is the free version of HubSpot, we don't get product library. So we're gonna have to create a, create a custom line item. To do so, just press the create custom line item. And then we need to fill out our name for the line, so test. I'm just gonna call this test, add a description. You can add an image if you so wish. Unit price, um, and then I'm gonna put unit cost. And then you've got recur recurring billing frequency, so monthly, quarterly, annually, or one time. And then obviously the margin is the difference between the unit price and the unit cost. And then you also have term in months, so I'm not gonna put that as either. But if you have a term, you can put that as well. Then just press the save button. And that will that line will then be added to the quote. So this is now part of the quote, as you can see this new line. And then we can go ahead and add more lines if we wanted to using the drop down menu on the right hand side here where it says add line and then create a custom line item again. So payment, start date, at payment or custom, and then recurring billing, quantity, discount, net price, etc. You can work through a number of things up here. And then if you wanna add a total discount, so this is product discount. Then if you wanna add a discount to the entire bill, you can do, or fee or tax, if um, whatever is applicable. So let's say I wanna add a one-time discount to this entire order. I'm just gonna call it test, and then we can select the amount that this is going to be discounted for. I'm gonna remove this, um, just because I'm not gonna do that. And then once you've done that, just press the next button, and then we're gonna to go to signature and payment. We can select no signature, include space for a written signature, or if we had, again, the, the paid version, we could use an e-signature or enable payment. So essentially they could pay through an online portal. Um, I'm, gonna use, I'm gonna leave it as no signature, including a space or written signature essentially just gives you the additional information down the bottom here and then you can use include then you can also select it include space for a counter signature and again that just adds more to the quote i'm not going to do that and then just press the next button once you're happy with that and then this is where you can review your quote so our test product costs 20 pound or 20 dollars sorry uh, one time subtotal of 20 dollars and then they can sign down here there's my contact information. And once you're happy, 
all you need to do you can sorry i forgot to mention you can change the quote language and um, just select it and maybe if we want to change it to dutch for example it will change to dutch accordingly put it back to english before i get confused and then again the location united kingdom as opposed to united states set that up according to your business and once you're happy with that you just need to press the create quote button changes have been made successfully and then a web page for your quote has been created where you can copy this and then um, send it via email or if you've watched another video of mine on how to connect your email to HubSpot you'll know that you can then send your email send this directly via email from HubSpot so just press write email with quote and then you can then go ahead and write an email to this particular contact containing the quote that you have gone ahead and created um, and once you've done that you just press need to press the send button i'm going to exit out of this and i'll just go back to quotes so you can see um, sales and then quotes down the bottom here you can see that this is a quote we have created um, if you want to go to actions on the left you can copy the link download it delete it recall and edit or clone um, and it's very simple and that is how to create a quote in HubSpot CRM. I hope this video has clearly explained how to create a quote in HubSpot CRM. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.